Hi guys, Postman's Bin. I think we can probably guess this has come from Banggood. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It feels like absolutely nothing, but I think it's some little um, JST type connectors. One. I hope there's more. No. Only one. Hang on. I am sure I ordered a pack of four. Just having a good rummage in the bag. Nope, there's nothing else there. I bought it because it should be the right lead for this camera. Oh, I'm having trouble getting my position right on the screen here at the moment because I'm filming this with my new Samsung Galaxy, whatever it is, phone that I've just bought. I thought it'd be a good test, but I've got it zoomed in a bit and I'm forgetting I'm in quite close contact here. Anyway, yeah, right, that's what we want to fit. So... Because oh, I'm filming it on my phone, we've got notifications coming in as well, haven't we? I have to remember to switch all that sort of thing off. Right, okay, looks like we've got the right lead. Because what I want to do is actually cut this off and replace this one that we can clearly see has given the previous owner some problems. But I'm not sure whether to cut that off or complain to Banggood first. Well, I'm not impressed with getting all these um, notifications coming in while I'm filming. Right, I'll stop filming for now. Well, I've checked the listing. It's my fault. Stupidly thinking a picture of four leads indicated I was going to get four when I ordered them. But now that I look at it, the picture of the four leads is the four different sizes available and I could have ordered three other sizes so yeah my fault that cost me £1.57 which with postage and packaging came up to £3.29 so I've paid £3.29 for that I could have bought a pack of ten of them uh, just the plug, not the socket end, for about £3. So, quite annoyed. But, I only actually need one, so we'll just have to see if we can make it work with the one. Right, before I waste time trying to swap those wires, I do remember I did a video testing that camera and this camera and this um, quad and this quad and I can't remember whether that camera worked at all so before we do anything else I'll power this one up okay and I should be able to turn the camera on, I think it's this one, that should go from a green LED in there, can we see that? Just hold that up. Or is it the other way? That's it. Uh, can we see that flashing red LED in there? There it is. Okay, so that should now be recording. Okay, so that should now be recording. And then, and then off again. So that should be recorded a little bit on that one. Right, I've taken that one off. I'll put this one in. If we can get. 
get it in there. Okay, that's now in. So power on again. Okay, so that's on. So then we've got a green light in there. Can we see that green light? There's the green light. So go down like that. That should now be recording. That should now be recording. That stopped recording. Power off. All right, I'll just go and download both of those and check they're actually working. All right, I've checked. And we managed to record something on both of these cameras using the other quad. So we'll now plug them into this one, which I've got a battery in, I think. Yep. So we'll try number one first. Okay, that's in. So Power on, power on. Okay, that one's flashing green at the moment. Yep, you can see the green. So that should now be red. Can we see the red one? Yep, you can just about see the red one. So that's now recording. Be red. Red one. Yep, just about to see the red one. So that's now recording. Turn it off again, back to green. That's one thing I often forget when I'm flying it. Let's see if we can do this without having to power the whole thing off and on again. Okay, so that one's got a green light in there. Red, so that's now recording. Red, so that's now recording. Back to green. Okay. So I'll go and check that they've both recorded something. They should do, but I'll go and check. And then when we've done that, we'll see if we can rewire that one. I just don't like having that lump of hot glue on it. Just check the wires are the same way round. Uh, no, they're not, are they? Oh, that's annoying. So we've got the right coloured wires, but they're in the wrong order. So I either swap them over, or I wire them in the opposite direction inside. I'd rather swap them over, to be honest, so they look right. Yes, the red and the yellow I need to swap over. How annoying. Right, so before I try and do any soldering on there, we want to try and pop these out. Hopefully just by that. Come on, don't be awkward. I'm trying to do it so the camera can see what I'm doing. Just lift that up, and it comes. Move over that side. Good job I put my glasses on. So they now 
the right way round. Just double check. Yep. Yeah. And that one should pop into there. It's not clipping. I think I'm wasting my time. No point in putting it in there if it's going to pop out when we're flying. It's like that little... Where are we? Not even on the screen. Oh, come on. Yeah, there's a, there's a little knobble on the back there. It should be all right though. I don't... I'm really not seeing any difference. Got a nasty feeling I might have just wasted a few pounds. And they are slightly different position. The little dimple on the back. in it's just coming back out again no I don't think I'm gonna do it because if that's not gripping properly there's absolutely no point in swapping it over. What a waste of time and money. It's going in, but it's just popping out again. It's just not clicking into place. Where's that one? Well, it's not much difference, but it is staying in there. Yeah, that one's just coming out easily. Nah, not going to do it. I'm not going to swap it over. I'm just wasting my time. What I'll do instead is see if I've got any little screws in there. That we can actually mount this on here properly. And, well, just use it as it is. Well, I guess we'll just put that down to experience. We've, we've got the right size connector, finally. But it just doesn't clip in properly which I think is just the size of the little dimple on the back there so instead of that I will give them both a little fly anyway just in and out of the house out into the garden and back again uh, Nanny's decided she's gonna go and sit in the garden anyway so I can't do a lot of flying out there and it's a little bit windy so we'll just go out and in, just so we've got something to record on both cameras. Right, we should be recording.
Yeah, got the flashing red light. So we're just going to go out there and come back again. That was all I wanted. Now, can we remember to turn the camera off? Yeah, as usual, I'd switch the transmitter off before I'd turn the camera off. But I think we might be okay. So, switch that one off. Okay. So that's telling me the batteries are flat already. Oh, it's lost the signal. Right. Camera initialized. Red light on it flashing. Right, that's all we wanted, just to check the cameras are working and that both quads are flying. Oh yeah, and before we switch it off this time, down the button there. Oh, we're still flashing red light there. That's better. Can we see that green light in there now? Yeah. Okay. Off. Nearly every time I do that, forget to switch the camera off before you switch the drone off. Then you lose the footage. Well, in summary, that was pretty disappointing all round. The cable I bought on Banggood is the right size connectors, but whatever that small plug is, it just doesn't grip properly when I plug it into the uh, SEMA, into the quad. So the original idea was to replace the rather grotty looking lead that's on there with a nice new one. But that would have been no advantage, it would have fallen out anyway. And then in testing, and this is what I found before, I remember now. This one, which I've numbered number one, works fine. This one, that I've numbered number two, is unreliable.
because when I did the tests going in and out of the door, that one worked fine. That one, when I downloaded it, had failed. It had recorded something, but it was corrupted. So I had to film that again. It also produces, well, they, they both produce AVI format files, but that one, my video editor understands, that one it doesn't. So I converted them to MP4, MP4? Yeah, MP4 files, so that I could actually do the editing that you're now watching. Oh, and the uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, smartphone that I'm recording this on um, seems all right. I'm gonna have to get used to it, and I'll have to remember to turn off the notifications when I'm using the phone because early on in this video you'll hear the the beeps coming in when there's uh, notifications coming in but that's just something I've got to learn I've never tried using my phone for doing this sort of recording in the past not my old phones and I would never had a signal here in the past so I'd never get notifications so on the positive side the Samsung is actually getting signals here at home so that was the previous post bag my new phone so I've got a signal, so that's good. And it does seem to record quite good quality pictures as well. So happy with that. And not really any further forwards with this. Um, basically a waste of money that was. It's the right lead, but it doesn't click in properly. So, but I suppose it made a video for me for YouTube. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, then like and subscribe and hit that bell icon because YouTube is now almost actively trying not to recommend videos unless you've got that bell icon clicked. Oh well, there we go. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.